if you are a starter or if you're advanced it doesn't matter the basic question of angular will be how you're gonna make a get call to a server or post call or put call or delete call to a server and face the data or face the response from the server we'll see that but after the intro Hi everyone, this is Subhrat and you are watching for of University. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So the today's question is a very basic question for the Angular. How are you going to make a GET call or any HTTP call that matters? What I saw in the candidate who are coming for an interview, everybody in the answer, they are saying, direct this dot http service dot get that itself is wrong so from that uh, the interviewer is not asking the whole flow so that you will call a service then you call uh, then from the service you have a get method suppose uh, i'm using this service here so what i mean to say is I'm seeing this in a lot of candidate that uh, uh, when an interviewer asks how to make a get call or something, they are directly saying this thing, this dot http service dot get, which is wrong because the what the interviewer want is this thing, okay? And how you're gonna subscribe that thing and how you're gonna uh, fetch the data from that, okay? So not the service in the real world. Obviously, you're gonna use the use service to make a get call for the maintenance point of view, but for the interview want that you know how to use HTTP client or you do know how to make a get call that amplifies that you at least know how to interact with the backend so that you will get the data from backend and do the operation in the front end. So if you know what the what to get call and how to make a get call. You can go to the next video uh, in this video i will explain uh, all about the details or you have a detailed video of http calls i will link it there you can watch that also so now come to the explanation so get the http verbs which is used to get the data from the server server means which is exposing the get service so from a client you will call the server as a get request and server will send the data as a response and we use the data the concept is same concept will be same in everywhere so by default angular will just observable and try to wrap the whole response inside the observable so what you will get suppose you are calling this http.get you will pass the url okay suppose you are not using a service so you can directly do this here that what i meant to Oh, say and you have to import HTTP client here okay so that what the interviewer really wants not interviewer doesn't want the HTTP service that get then then they will again ask you how what will be inside the get method and then you again keep on explaining and that will just decrease your chance of getting selected okay so suppose you tell the interviewer about this HTTP dot get URL then the interviewer focus will be on how you're gonna cast the data and one more thing i saw this in a lot of candidates that they are confused in the promises and the observable there may be a chance because they are they may use promises in some cases in their project and the observable in some some cases but uh, for an interview point of view you have to be right right so go with the if they are not asking about promises go with the observable so try to use dot subscribe so why we are subscribing this as i already told what http get will do it will try to wrap the whole response inside observable so it will emit the response to the to the subscriber so we need to subscribe that in the observable we have three parameters that is next error and complete so if you don't know what is the observable and how it works i have an in-depth playlist i will link it here you can go and watch there are three videos are there so you'll be clear and observable in how to create your own and what all those things so 
if you go here so first as you know that is next we can name it anything so by default it would be better to use a data because you will get data or you can name as a response it depends on you so so whatever code you're gonna write here that will be get executed when we'll get a success response from the server so why is this going to be executed you will be more, more clear by watching those video but for time being I can explain is um, on the success the observable will emit the next value as a response from the server okay and suppose there is an error I'm just naming this as an error okay so if there is an error we'll get the data data means the response message the error message came from the server not the not the real data what you want so this will come handy when uh, when you are calling a server and get the didn't get any response so you need to notify your user with some good user message like don't give a server with a 500 internal server error that is not a good for the end user they don't care about your 500 your status code and nothing you have to give them a good message that something went wrong or something so so this error block is used to handle the error and that you have to told in the interview process and this is the complete i already explained about all these things in that video you will be more clear by watching that one so if you don't know what all these things please go ahead and watch that so this as a as you already uh, know that this will be uh, on su after success this will get call so many people may have think that this will call by default if success come or error come but this will only execute the complete will only execute if the call is success so that the observable is saying okay i emitted all the value okay now i'm completing the observable okay so that means it's done if the error is coming in between the observable is completed at that time itself so this is about get in post and put we have only the request body which need to be sent to the server and the response will be remain same and delete we can send the id and the response will be remain same how we're going to handle and everything so this is that the base just a gist of HTTP call you should answer like this not uh, according to the service and all what I explained in the beginning so that's it for today today we saw how we can make a HTTP get call and what we should answer in the interview so that the chances of the selection will be increased by the answer so hit the like button if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Please share this video among your friend. This may help someone to get, get getting the interview clear. And please give some valuable comment in the comment section below. We are going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.